Hello and welcome to Sporting Bet, where I'm proud and delighted to announce the arrival of our new world football ambassador, a man who actually needs uh, no introduction whatsoever, is of course the man we're at side, Mr. Guillaume Balaget. Guillaume, thanks for joining us at Sporting Bet, thanks for being part of the team, it's, uh, it's fantastic to have you on board. Ah, it is a pleasure for me, Rose. Uh, I've known you for a long time and I know that uh, you're somebody to trust, first of all, <laughs> who know a lot of, about football, probably more than me, but uh, it'll be great to just... Um, share information and uh, and odds and and proof to the world that um, probably we don't know as much uh, <laughs> football as we think we do but uh, that we love it certainly and have got a great passion for it tremendous so it's fantastic obviously to have a, a man of game statue on board here at sporting bet and you can read listen to and watch his views every single week here at sporting bet now game while we've got you here why don't we just kind of have a little uh, sum up of the season so far obviously you're an expert in in many fields of the game but let's just have a look at the couple of the major leagues uh premier premier league at the moment uh, barcelona haven't started as well as you would imagine real madrid certainly making some sort of challenge for, for, for supremacy and obviously a, a team like Levante making a, a real uh, real stride. What, what, how do you sum it up so far what's happened in, in Spain? Levante is, uh, is uh, the greatest story of uh, the season so far. That is a team that hasn't got uh, the infrastructure, the money, the quality to actually be where they are but because they started so well I think you're going to see them there the rest of the season. This is a bunch of very uh, veteran players Given the last opportunity in football, imagine, it's like, this is, this is it. You either do it now or that's it for you. And they're just taking it with, with both hands and they're enjoying it. They're enjoying it partly because uh, the manager, the club is making them to enjoy football. How do they do that? Well, they play the ball more than they used to last season. Not a lot. It's a counter-attacking team, but they play the ball. Players like that. They can eat pizza, <laughs> drink beer and have paella as well. So... Players uh, realise that uh, football doesn't have to be uh, a drama, a tragedy, you, that you can enjoy it. And generally the fact that they get paid every month. So this is a team that is happy. A happy team will give you points. And a happy team that has started well will take points from others from now till the end of the season. So count on them to actually do, be, do well the rest of the season. In terms of uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid, well, you see in the Ballon d'Or, half of the players voted or, or, or who are candidates to win the Ballon d'Or are from either Barcelona or Real Madrid. In any league in the world, they will be first and second. Right. But the question is who will be first and who will be second this season. You've got a, a Barcelona side that struggles away and there struggles when there is too many games because they've got injury problems. And, and the fact that with, uh, without Alexis, the one he's been missing, they haven't got that extra player that gives them an extra pace in wide places. Even so, they're still managing to get lots of points. Uh, and Real Madrid is a better Real Madrid than last season. It's the, probably the best Real Madrid it's been for, for decades. And even better than last season. And remember last season they, they were very close to Barcelona. They actually felt that they were just a little bit of luck and a little bit of uh, good referees decisions according to them. They would have actually overtaken Barcelona. That's it. That's, they are that close now. And Jose Mourinho cannot complain. Everybody's given more than he expected. That includes Iwain, the man of the first goals. Benzema, who actually is playing better than ever as well and is consistent. Generally, it's a, it's a team that uh, has got no fouls. They even keep possession now as well as counter-attacking. So they're going to make things very difficult for Barcelona. Well, it's a tremendous uh, view that you've got, obviously, on that league, and we're really looking forward to see how that develops over the course of the season. Just a quick word, of course, of, on the on the English Premier League. I mean, Manchester City, obviously, the team of the moment. At the moment, we've seen them uh, smash Manchester United. They're clear favourites at the moment with Sporting. But is that the way you see the league going to develop there, or do you think there's going to be maybe some tossing and turning before the end of the season? Who was at the top, or, or everybody <laughs> said at the beginning of last season that Chelsea were the winners, absolute winners of the yeah, league at true. the end of the season, and it didn't happen a long way to go for either league but I've got I've got a view on, on Manchester City which may probably Manchester City fans will not agree with <laughs> but I've got the impression that uh, this is a bunch of very talented individuals who at the moment just don't work as a team how can you say that after beating Manchester United and all that well, analyse the game. It was 1-0 from the moment that uh, Johnny Evans got sent off. And then Manchester United, who are unable to defend, were unable to defend with 10 men against a very forced, very powerful attack. But let's see when Manchester City go down a little bit. Let's see when, when it gets tough, when physically they don't feel well. And then let's see how they react. I still think Manchester United and Chelsea have got a great opportunity to make an impact here. And again... How can you say Chelsea after having beaten by Arsenal so clearly? They've got the right ideas. 
probably not the right players in the lineup, but they've got them in the team to actually do what uh, Villas-Boas wants them to do. So it's not clear cut at all. I think those three will be fighting for the title for certain. Well, that's fascinating to get games early views on those two leagues. While we've got you here, game now, obviously we're going to be speaking on many occasions over the next few months. But uh, let's just take an early bird view, maybe of uh, t this, the weekend's games. Uh, maybe a game in Spain, maybe a game in England that we can tell the sporting bet viewers here that maybe they've got a, 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 a you've got a particular view on any any games that kind of uh, take your fancy early on. La Liga, for instance, La Liga. There'll be um, a very fascinating Atlético Bilbao Barcelona game. And I say fascinating because you would think Barcelona is superior to almost any team in, in La Liga, but actually they only managed to get two victories out of four away. It's away when they struggle. And against a team like Aleti Bilbao, they're now are happy to keep the ball, to dominate as well, with their own fans in a ground that is, if you haven't been, just go out to San Mamés because that's pure football. And Barcelona struggles with those kinds of, of, of grounds, have always done historically. I think Aleti Bilbao can actually scare Barcelona oh, here. Okay. Uh, it would be one of those that I don't see Barcelona just clearly beating Aleti Bilbao anyway, even if the, an early goal comes in. Aleti Bilbao believing in the new manager. So one one to to doubt that Barcelona will win well, clearly. That, that's one we can check out the odds maybe on the handicap and maybe uh, some of the early prices there at Sporting. And one maybe in the, in the Premier League. Any games that particularly uh, take your fancy? I know it's early in the week, but anything that you can maybe... I'll, I'll be keeping my eyes on, uh, on Blackburn Chelsea. And not just because uh, Blackburn is uh, one or two friends of mine playing there, uh, Ron Rochina and Michel Salgado, but especially because despite the fact that they haven't started the, the season poorly, again, it's a team that's difficult to beat at home. And Chelsea, they need to prove to the manager, to the fans, to the media, what they are about. And at the moment, there's still many doubts about what they are about. There's a transitional period that uh, both Abramovich and Villas Boas thinks that the side needs and we are living through it. So you will see surprising results by Chelsea, but they're going to stick to that philosophy and they need the three points there. I think they will get them, but it will be a really tough game. Tremendous to get games early views. Well, that's it then. Guillaume Balaga, the new world football ambassador here at Sporting, but you can listen to, hear and watch his views exclusively every week. It certainly is something to look forward to and very exciting times indeed. <music>